students take a pencil and mark a dot on a paper you will see the sharper is your pencil the thinner is the dot like shown here on this board this is called point point determines the location of the object it is represented as dot let's see how to distinguish points let's mark 3 4 points on a board now to distinguish one point from another we denote them by a single capital letter like a b c and d these points are read as point a point b point c and point d so students this is how we distinguish points from one another now let's see line segment let's mark two points a and b on a board now connect the points a and b and students we get a line segment this is a line segment with end points a and b here end points represent that the line segment cannot be extended on any side this line segment is denoted as ab with a small line segment on it similarly cd is a line segment with end points c and d and it is denoted as cd with a small line segment on it examples of a line segment are edges of a duster or edges of a ruler next is line first draw a line segment ab now extend this line segment in both directions and we get a line this is a line where arrows represent that it can be extended indefinitely in both directions students you can see that this line is passing through points a and b therefore it can be denoted as ab with a small line on it the line can also be denoted by small l or small m an example of a line is a road which can be extended on both sides next is ray students what do you recall when i say ray yes it is sun rays which is an example of ray let's draw a ray and denote it with e and f like the rays of the sun extends only in one direction in the same way you can see in this figure that there is an arrow at one side and a point at another side this means that a ray can be extended only in one direction or we can say a line that begins at a fixed point and extends forever in the other direction is called as ray ray ef is denoted as ef with a small ray on it next topic is intersecting lines to understand intersecting lines let's draw lines l and m as shown in the figure you can see both lines pass through point o or we can say both lines intersect at point o such lines are called intersecting lines or we can say if two lines have a common point they are called intersecting lines Example of intersecting line is edges of a book or capital letter x Next is parallel lines Two lines which never intersect and can extend indefinitely on both sides are called parallel lines Here as you can see line AB is parallel to CD Students remember that distance between two parallel lines always remains same and that is why these parallel lines never intersect each other example of parallel lines is railway track which extends indefinitely on both sides and never intersect another example is a ruler whose long edges are parallel to each other students this marks the end of our video to part 1 of chapter 4 thanks for watching if you like this video 
make sure to subscribe for more and do press the bell icon to receive the notification for my next video thank you bye bye